Have your connectors preloaded with epoxy and fiber ends prepped per the connector manufacturer's specification before starting. Heat cure epoxies are most commonly used and require the use of a curing oven. Use an oven with time and temperature control to ensure optimum cured epoxy performance. This oven has a vertical curing block, so the connectors will be inserted downward into the holes. Care should be taken to organize the cables as they exit the oven, to run naturally and free of stress. This oven utilizes brass fiber protectors over the ferrules, which protects protruding fiber and facilitates heat transfer to the connector. Your oven design may vary, but it's always a good idea to protect the fiber that will be protruding from the ferrule. Here the connector ferrule is pressed into the brass fiber protector. Take care not to transfer epoxy from the ferrule bead to the inside diameter of the protector. Slide the crimp sleeve into position. Clean the fiber with alcohol and lab wipe, not shown. Then feed the cleaned fiber into the back shell of the connector. Gently push the fiber completely into the connector. Excess fiber will protrude from the ferrule tip. Spread the Kevlar so it covers the full perimeter of the back post. Distribute the Kevlar uniformly around the post to ensure the optimum tensile strength of the finished connector. Slide the crimp sleeve over the back shell of the connector, trapping the Kevlar. Crimp using the manufacturer's recommended crimp diameters. Place connectors in the oven. Organize the cables appropriately. Cure according to the epoxy manufacturer's recommended time and temperature. After curing, remove connectors and allow to cool before proceeding to the next process step.